Where's my grandson? Who the hell has got my grandson? Are you trying to throw the finger? Son, you want to join us, Daddy? Did you come up with anything? No, no. Thanks. Every time I look at him to try to come up with something, I can't stop staring. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at him. Look at him, he's so beautiful. He's our son. Could he be anything else? Our son. <laughs> I like the sound of it. Sure. Yeah, of course. Besides, this isn't the first time you've held the baby. Well, I've never held one this small. I've never one who's our son. This is our son. You know, he sure is. <laughs> hey, you up for visitors? Hey. Come on, Natalie. Oh. <laughs> Plus one. Oh, someone wants to say hi to his Aunt Jessica. I need to talk to you. Is this? I mean, first we get pregnant together and then we end up giving birth to little boys on the same night. I know, it just further proves that our babies are gonna be best friends, just like their moms. Hey, did you get the stogies? Hey, smoke, smoke them if you got them. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, thank you. I can't wait stogies. till we sign up for mommy and me classes with more of us. I know. Hey, well, we can't sign up for anything until our kid has a name. Oh, we'll figure that out. Yeah, well, don't worry. We haven't named our son yet either. You know, I don't want to rush it. It seems like that's all we've been doing lately. I, I, I was so scared when I found out that you had to have a C-section a month early. You know, it was a bit rough, but, um, but the baby and I are fine. Brody really got us through it. But at least I was, you know, at the hospital with doctors. I hear you gave birth trapped in Dad's lodge with the only one there to help you was Marnie? Yeah. Yeah, but everything turned out okay. Yeah. Well, thank God you two are okay. But I, I guess the same can't be said for Marty. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Let me take a... You know, I could use a little rest. Yeah, oh. maybe a little. Oh, my God. It's lucky you're going to get any when you come home. Yeah, <laughs> neither are you. Mm. You know, um... I was thinking maybe we should get somebody to help out a little at home. Oh, don't worry. I already got it covered. Oh. I can't believe Marty actually kidnapped you. Yeah, I guess she just snapped. Well, I should really go see her. I don't really think that's a good idea, Jess. Um, she's really not herself right now. Bernie, she's my friend. I know, but, you know, I, I went into looking on her earlier this morning and she didn't even seem to recognize me. Who is this? The babysitter. I have to go. Where are you going? I have to go to work. Well, then the baby can stay here with me. It's, it's fine. Natalie loves this baby. You. Oh, my heart. No, no, no. Give me back my baby. And don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Give me back my baby. Plenty of time to visit Marty later. Um, right now they have her in isolation until they're done evaluating her. I can't believe it's come to this. You know, I know that Marty was having a hard time since Cole went to prison, but I had no idea that she was so close to the edge. Uh, so she actually thought that Natalie's baby was the one that she was supposed to have with you? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Well, I guess that's why she wanted to interrupt your wedding. Don't you think that's what she wanted to say? If you want to ask... John! John, help me! Easy, easy. Calm down. I'll get the doctor. I don't need the damn doctor. I need John McVean! Yeah, you're you're probably right, Jess. I can't think of anything else that Marty would have wanted to tell you. 
But uh, if she never recovers, I guess we're never gonna find out, huh? Miss Brennan, I need to take your little one for some tests. Oh. Is everything okay? This is just the routine after a difficult birth, and I'm afraid you two will have to go back to the nursery with your baby. I know, I know. Well, we promise we'll go back in just a few minutes. Okay, thanks. Got him? Yeah. Lieutenant McBain, we need you. It's Dr. Savebrook. What happened? She's upset. She'll only talk to you. Uh, do you really think that that's a good idea? Look, if, if I can calm her down, I should at least try, all right? Look after my son for me. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Congrats! Hey, Tommy boy! Big Daddy. I have to go to the little girl's room. Um... You wanna try holding him? Actually, I'm pretty exhausted. And oh, 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 Brody, calm him down. He's usually pretty good at that. He's been demonstrating excellent baby handling techniques with our son. It's too You ready? Okay. Okay. Here, young man. Oh. I got him. Oh. Yeah? How's that? <laughs> Johnny, I would have been here sooner, but I was on this hot, juicy winning streak in Atlantic City. And I don't know, I must have had too much tequila last night because I woke up this morning and I was leg chained to a llama and I had cake batter all over me. Is the circus in town or something like that? Anyway, I got my head on straight and I checked my messages. I found out the baby was here already. So where is the little McBundle? Side with Natalie, all right? Um, go inside, get acquainted. I'll be right back. Sure, okay. Hey, Rox. Yeah. You know we had a boy, right? Oh, yeah, no, I know that, but I had a little tussle with the guy in the gift shop. He snaked all the last boy balloons. Have no fear. Granny's here. <laughs> hey, Roxy, where have you been? I didn't think wild horses could keep you away. You know, it's funny you should mention that, because it wasn't exactly a horse. Oh, never mind. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I take this kid with me to Vegas because oh. he must be on a winning streak Ow. to come out so early all in one piece like that. I heard you had a Caesar section. Yeah, it's a... You know, I really wish I could have one with Sky because he took the long and scenic route. Oh, this is a little funner. <laughs> well, actually, this one... Is... Oh, oh, you are so... Oh, cute. Look at you, hot stuff. You know, they say that a parent of a newbie, you know, you never know who he looks more like, but this one is a no-brainer. Well, this is... this kid is all Brody. John! John! It's okay in the next. You know what triggered it? All of a sudden, she just started screaming for you. I'll get a doctor and see if they want to sedate her. Wait, wait. Just give me a minute here, okay? Uh, what? Uh, it's John. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you're back. I came when I heard you wanted to see me. Uh, you all right? Yeah. No, we'll be... Just bring me back our baby. Look at you. You got Brody's eyes. Oh, Roxy. Yes. And you got Brody's little nose. Um, and you're both cute as a bug. Okay, I, I'm going to take him now. Yeah. And look at you. You got your figure back almost. Roxy, he looks nothing like Brody. Oh, don't listen to her. He looks exactly like you. Roxy, this isn't Brody's baby. It's John's. Are you sure that Rugrat ain't Brody's? Uh, we're sure. Her baby's with the doctor, Roxy, getting some tests. Just, just some routine stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you know, I can tell that's a McBain all the way. I mean, I can tell by his mane, you know, uh, just like Johnny's. I can tell by his hair. He's wearing a cap. Yeah, but, you know, I'm a pro, you know, and so uh, I, I can tell that, uh, you know, he's going to have quite a head of hair. You done good, girl. <laughs> I heard the LPD had some new additions. Oh, like hell. And there's no way any sons of ours are going to be cops. Okay, come on over and meet your nephew. I can't believe I'm an uncle. 
Okay. <laughs> this totally makes up for all the Christmases you were not around to give me a present. <laughs> well, you know what's gonna make up for all the Christmases that you didn't give me a present? Babysitting. Deal. I will take all the time I can get with this little stinker. Mm -hmm. Look at how great the two of you turned out to be. You know, no thanks to me or nothing like that. I mean, just right out of the gate, you're gonna be better parents than I ever was when you were babies. Roxy, come on. I know, but I was such a mess when you were growing up, and I was always lying through the yin-yang, but look at the two of you. You're not gonna make my mistakes. Here, Roxy. Oh, God, I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry or nothing like that. Could somebody distract me or something? Tell me how labor was. Any good drugs or anything? Well, actually, drugs weren't really an option when Natalie gave birth. <laughs> what, did she give birth in a cave or something? <laughs> Close. I don't trust that girl. You got to watch our baby. I want him back right now. Girl, I'm... the baby's with the doctor. Why? Is there something wrong? He was born early, remember? He just... he needs a little extra looking after. Okay. But he's fine. I think right now you just need to stay here and recuperate. And you've been through a lot. I mean, you want to get better, don't you? Yes, yes. My baby. What are these? Why, why do I have to wear these? I think the doctor thinks it's best for you right now. But I'll talk to him and I'll see when they can come off. Oh, thank you. When is that going to be? 